So we got everything cooking, 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 cooking. We've already got our turkey in there. And the turkey. I'm going to show you guys how to season that. Oh, I get to hear the season. Um, I just want you to be my camera one. No, I can go. This is the garlic powder and stuff like that. Okay. I can put it like in front of the camera. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we got our ground turkey in there. We're about to put our so long not so long too. The spinach in there. And you are just kinda it's gonna cook now, so I probably gonna use like a half a bag. You know. And uh Put that on there. Okay, go ahead and hand me the onion powder. Okay, Auntie Mary, here's the onion powder. Alright. You want to put that in and we're going to season both of them. You going to season this one. That's a lot. And then we're going to season this one. See, onion powder, all the powders, you can put how much you want. Because, okay, give me the garlic. Okay, so, Auntie Ruby, here's the garlic powder. Okay. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to over salt it. Remember I said use yeah. more uh, powders and herbs and stuff. Okay. And um, this one, we're going to use this one when, Wait. We, when it's kind of done a little bit. We're not going to use that one yet. We're not going to use this one yet. But it tastes really screw, good screw down. Let me get in here. Ah. Watch yourself. Don't, don't bother me. Okay. We got our nice ingredients. Are you watching the show? Mm-hmm. Because you're going to put that last one in, you know, uh, Are we gonna put the last one in both? Watch, watch the uh, thing. Watch you doing, man. Auntie Riri. Here, look at me. Watch my hand. So we, then we're gonna put the peppers inside here. The peppers, the onions, the red peppers, the green peppers, and the onions. Yeah. The ones that we showed y'all earlier mm -hmm. in our last video. I'm the camera woman if you don't know who the camera woman is. Okay. All right. It's just a habit for me to clean them the way I go, uh, as I go. Okay, Mia. I was following you at some point. Don't don't lose focus. Sorry. Okay. So we have our spinach. Spinach, fresh spinach. Mia, look at the camera. I am. I know where it's pointing. You looking over there at the spinach? I need to be focused. You gotta help, Auntie. See that looks good, right? That looks good, right? Get that look good. Get it, get it, get it. Auntie Riri. Get it. Get the camera still, man. Okay. I was having my fun, but okay. And then time to dance. He's trying to be professional and help Auntie out. I'm just putting my hand in here. Nothing crazy. Okay, so you want to saute, I mean, saute that real quick. It ain't going to take long for that. Put it over here. Okay, so. You just want to, you know, flip that in. Toss that. And, and turkey can get kind of, you know, uh, you know, hard on you. Oh. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do it once it get done. 
Then I'm going to add this seasoning in there. Add tomato paste. Uh, chicken seasoning. That's all it is. Okay, then I'm going to add some up. Uh, put it over there. I'm going to add some fresh tomatoes. and Diced and, tomatoes. And sliced. I'm going to take this sliced. parsley and so wait, uh, cilantro. To diced go. tomatoes. Two diced tomatoes. My, one diced tomato that's mild. And then two hot sauce. Hunts. Whatever that's called. Hunts. Yeah. Be a good camera woman. Uh, Mia. I know your name. I'm just I'm trying to say focus. I'm trying to keep you focused. Okay. So this spinach has simmered down. Yeah, you, you hear it. that nice green sizzle? Yeah. Okay. So this spinach, you want to take it, put it over here. So that way you got your meat, your vegetable, and your pasta. Now we're gonna add some of this. Go back. I don't wanna bring it. Don't be too close. But we're not gonna add that until uh, it's, it's all cooked up. But show them, me, show them the inside of the pot. Okay. It looks all nice and good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I like my colorful stuff. Red, green, red. You know, I love those colors together. It looks so pretty. Pretty, okay. pretty, pretty, pretty. So, we're just going to put that on there real quick. Let that cook out for a second. And then I'm going to add uh, the seasoning. I'm going to show you how it, it turns colors a little bit. Just stay right there. Don't follow me. I said, don't follow me. Oh. We're getting all settled. Yeah. Doesn't that look so pretty and steamy and good? Yeah, see, turkey doesn't take a long time to, to, cook. Uh, to cook. It don't take a long time, so you want to get it like that. And what I said, remember, you know, you got a little water already, so what I'm going to do is take this tomato base. Uh, seasoning because remember I ain't put no seasoning in it so I just want to put a, a nice spoon this is probably I don't know but a nice oversized tablespoon oh I shook it too much <clears throat> seasoning And I'm going to show you how it, it, it turns uh, colors on there. You know, but they give it a nice flavor, as you can see. And it turns the color that you want. So you can even use this if you want to create your own taco sauce. So turn it down a little bit because you want to get the smother. Okay, screw back a little bit, Mia. <clears throat> so, what you want to use is diced Italian tomato. Yep, diced Italian I'm gonna, tomatoes. I'm going to cut Slice. that up. And I think I'm going to do some mild. This one with mild, the diced mild. tomatoes with the green chilies inside of it. So, I'm going to open those. Really so. Oh, your arm is in the way. So today, a 
other than your mild tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and your regular Italian diced tomatoes. What else ingredients that are healthy for you are you going to be putting? Come on inside showing the food what it look like. Is it a nice color? Yes. Okay. Ooh, it looks even better in person, I'm telling you. You need to come make this at your house. We gave you all these wonderful steps, so at the end, he'll know what to do. We just want to add our tomato in there. Give that a quick stir. See how good that look? This is going to be your meat, and you know I'm going to show y'all how to layer it and stuff. But I thought I was going to... I already opened it, so I don't have to mix a little bit of it. Well, you didn't, you didn't, you don't need it no more. Well, I'm gonna do it. It's ready for fresh tomato, so I'm gonna need it. For... It's gonna give it a spicy flavor because it has fresh tomato with the um, pepper. So. We gonna cook that down. You see how that look? So cook that down and, and simmer them tomatoes and all that stuff. Preheat your oven to 375, and we gonna get ready for our lasagna. And to be continued. To be continued. To be continued. Hey.